This video will show you how to correctly remove and reinstall components to access the drive shaft and supercharger on a Rotax inboard jet package assembly. These procedures are specific to the Rotax Fortec 1503 series package and should be used as a general reference. Use this information in conjunction with the specific information contained in the Rotax inboard jet package service manual. Loosen the hose clamps and remove the vent hose and water hoses from the intercooler. Loosen the hose clamps and remove the intercooler hoses at the throttle body and supercharger. Remove the hold down straps from the intercooler and remove it. Disconnect the muffler to resonator hose at the muffler. Remove the hose from the muffler. Disconnect the electrical connector from the exhaust temperature sensor. Loosen the hose clamps and remove the hose from the air filter adapter and supercharger. Remove the tie straps and disconnect both oxygen sensors. Loosen the hose clamp and remove the lower water outlet hose from the catalytic converter. Loosen the hose clamp and remove the vent hose from the catalytic converter. Loosen the hose clamp and remove the water hose from the bottom of the catalytic converter. Then loosen the hose clamp and remove the water hose from the top of the exhaust manifold. Use a 6 mm ball hex socket with a 15 degree wobble extension to remove the two catalytic converter mounting screws. Use an 11 mm deep socket to loosen the nut on the clamp securing the catalytic converter. Loosen the nut until the T-bolt is free from the retainer in the lower end of the clamp. Slide the clamp off the coupler. Lift the catalytic converter and muffler as an assembly and remove it from the boat. Remove the supercharger. Use the Torx adapter or a long E8 Torx wrench to remove the upper mounting screw. Use an E8 Torx socket to remove the lower mounting screws. Remove the supercharger. Installation is the reverse of the removal. Refer to the service manual for fastener torque specifications. Pay attention to the following. Make sure triple guard grease is applied to the supercharger housing as shown in the supercharger service video. Also refer to supercharger in the correct service manual. Make sure the area between the O-rings is clean and free of grease. Install the supercharger. It may be necessary to spin the turbine for the drive gear to engage the flywheel. Tighten the supercharger mounting screws to a torque of 80 inch pounds or 9 newton meters. After installing the catalytic converter and muffler assembly, rotate the catalytic converter to raise the muffler off of the hull. Tighten the catalytic converter mounting screws to a torque of 18 foot pounds or 24 newton meters. Then tighten the clamp to 97 inch pounds or 11 newton meters.